it's me, Canadensis, and today we're going to be doing another tier list video. I had to create this one from scratch because this one didn't already exist. Today I'm going to be ranking every single one of the Winx Club Jack Specific dolls. If you don't know, the um, company Jack Specific made Winx Club dolls from like 2012 to 2015. I actually have a complete collection if you look behind me. That's all of them, including prototypes. <laughs> um, and I, these are one of my favorite doll releases, doll lines of all time, so I'm really excited to rank them for you guys. I have strong opinions about these, and I've curated these opinions for years. Um, all of the images in this tier list are just stock photos, except the, um, I just, because I made the tier list, I need to credit the people that I got the pictures from. Every single picture is stock, except the, the, like, summer dolls in the swimsuits came from Winx Club All's blog, so love their blog. <laughs> Shout out to them. Um, and yeah, I would like to do more of these, but I generally like to rank dolls that I have, and I don't have any other near complete sets of Winx Club dolls. I do have some other ideas that I can do for you guys, so if you'd like to see more of these, let me know. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna kind of go in the order that they are on the list. Th this is no particular order, it's just the order that I, like, downloaded them in. Or actually, I think they're, like, alphabetical by what the file names were or something. All right, so first we have Believe Explora. So this doll has grown on me. She used to be one of my least favorite uh, Jack specific dolls out of all of them, um, but it was really that mine had atrocious hair because I got mine secondhand. I've warmed up to her a lot since then. I think her face is beautiful. Her outfit is not my favorite. It's kind of cheap. Um, and the wings, it's not fair because I just don't super like her wing design in general. The shape is fine, but the interior of her wings, I don't like super a lot, but this is probably the best Believix Flora doll that exists. I really like this one. And for that, I'm going to be putting her in B tier for now. Just so you know, the nature of tier lists, I'm going to be moving them as we move along. Like, maybe I'll end up putting a ton of dolls in B tier and decide, you know what? I think these dolls are objectively better than Flora, so I need to put her into C tier. It kind of works that way. So, yeah. Oh, also, if you'd like to make a tier list with this um, template that I created, there will be a link in the description for it. Alrighty, next is Bloom Believix. This doll is iconic. This doll, um, <laughs> if we ignore that she was way overproduced and all of the hair issues that were happening due to box hair, it's actually a fine quality doll and the hair is good quality. I have actually owned like 12 of this doll <laughs> in my lifetime and I really, really like her, so I'm actually going to be putting her in A tier. I don't think she transcends into S tier just because the early Jack specific dolls have a lot of um, quality and detailing that leaves a lot to be desired, so that's kind of why she's going to be sitting in A tier. It's possible she'll move to high B, we just need to see what happens as we move through the list. Believix Musa, this doll is nice. Like, she's pretty, she's good quality. I really love the face on her, too. I think her makeup's really nice and well done. It's just that she didn't leave much of an impression on me. I never, like, gravitate towards her. I don't know what it is. I think it's just that there are way more beautiful um, Musa dolls, but I do think she's better than the Flora Believix doll. Stella Believix, absolutely the same problem. Um, and then Aisha Believix. I think she belongs up here with Bloom. And then Tecna. There's just better Tecna dolls, so... I kind of feel the same way about her. I also don't like the non-matching colors on her outfit and her wings, and then, like... It's just, I don't like that metallic material that they used, and I get why they used it, and it's cute, but especially over time, it flakes, it, like, it wears out. Even though my dolls are display dolls, I never really even touch them, and some of their outfits are losing some of that sparkle. It's just, they're not the best. So I have a feeling they're going to move down a little bit later, but because they happen to be the first ones on my little list here, they are where they are for now. Next, we have some Everyday Dolls. We've got three Everyday Dolls. I've got Everyday Aisha, Bloom, and Stella. So Everyday Aisha was actually one of my most recent ones. Um, she was like the third to last to complete my Jax collection, I think. I think I got her, then Gold Believix Bloom, then um, Everyday Flora, and that was how I completed my Jax collection. I gotta say, I actually really like this one. Amongst the Everyday doll. Okay, so Jax has a serious problem with her their Everyday Dolls. Like, a lot of them are not good. Um, they'll have, like, weird, bad quality and, like, terrible materials used. I don't like the material they used on Aisha's skirt. It's, like, papery. At least I think so. It might have, like, a suede material to it. I can't recall 100%. She's literally right there. I could grab her, but uh, we're just gonna roll with it here. I really like this one. So, I... <sighs> Probably here. I I really like her, and when I rank a fairy against an everyday doll, it's 
Obviously, the fairy dolls, to me, are better. They're the deluxe dolls. They come with more stuff. They have wings. They're more exciting. But I'm trying to rank them relative. So, like, this is a B-tier everyday doll, and my enjoyment of her relative to the other everyday dolls, I, if that makes sense, I hope that is clear in some way. There are some everyday dolls by Jax. I, I just call them everyday. It just means, like, non-fairy to me. Um, there are some non-fairy dolls by Jax that truly do rank above fairy dolls for me. Like, I really like some of them, but for the most part... Um, they're gonna be pretty low on this list. And there are other companies that do everyday dolls, like, a lot of justice, like, um, Smoby or Old Witty. Amazing. And the Mattel everyday dolls are really, really good, too. They're actually better than a lot of the fairy dolls. Bloom? She's really pretty, but, like, eh. Eh. There's just, there's other dolls of this exact outfit that are so much better than this one. Um, she is very cute, though. Stella, um, outfit horrendous. In terms of material used, I mean, I like all of the designs of the outfits, but, um, probably here. Okay, Believix Power Bloom. Uh, I, yeah, so she's not going to transcend into S for me, probably, because I think there's other Believix... Mm, wait. Well, it's not fair, because I can't have four Believix Blooms in S tier, can I? I mean, it is my list. But I just think there are other Believix Bloom dolls that do it better, obviously, and um, there's the other Believix Power dolls, I feel, are better than the Bloom one, but I do really like this doll. I just think she shouldn't have been red, but at the same time, I like that she's red. Um, but, like, imagine, like, an orange with her. I don't know. I do really like her, though, like, a lot. It's just that the others out outclass her for me. Scooter Bloom is so forgettable and, like, eh. I'm gonna... I mean, she's one of my more recent ones, too. She was one of the ones that I needed to complete my collection. Mine was a gift from my uncle, who I've only met twice in my life, so that's kind of cool. Um... It's kind of my flex, because he lives, uh, he lived in a state that I was looking at Facebook Marketplace in, and I was like, hey, can you pick this up for me? And he did. <laughs> so that's how I got mine. I don't think I made a video, I don't think I was making videos at the time, but that's iconic. She's just like, eh, whatever, like, you don't even think about that outfit in the show, it's not particularly interesting. The scooter's nice, I guess, I don't know. She was, she's one of those ones when I'm, People will ask me all the time, like, can you list all the Jack specific dolls? And I just do it from memory. I should just make a list and publish it somewhere, but, you know, I'm working on it, whatever. <laughs> and I always forget this one. Always. I'll remember the vanity playset, but I won't remember this one. And the vanity playset doesn't even come with a doll. Beach Stella. Sorry that some of them are, like, cropped on their stomachs. I'm, I'll am i try to fix that. Maybe. Maybe. Don't. I, like, I'm not promising anything. Beach Stella. I, I actually, or sorry, this isn't beach, this is summer. They're all called summer, but they're all, like, beachy, I don't know. These were emerging channel dolls, so they're actually really, really rare. Like, you can't, overseas they were pre pretty common, but, like, here they were super rare. Um, I only had two of them, one of them, when they were released, and it's just because my dad found her somewhere, I don't remember where. I really like these, actually. Like, for what they are, and for their price point, they were super cheap. I think they were $10 or less. Um, I know in Europe they were 9.99 euros or something, but here, um, I feel like they must have been, like, at under $10. I actually like them. Their screenings are cool, their outfits are fun. I'm not even sure what Winx outfits they're based on. I, I can think of, like, two that vaguely are familiar to them, but I think they might just be random. But I like them. What For what they are, I think they, they do it for me. And... The materials are better than the materials that were used on the everyday dolls. The the actual everyday line, <laughs> uh, which is hilarious. Stella's Design Studio. Um, extremely forgettable. The playset's fun, but we're ranking the dolls because not all of them come with playsets. Um, obviously. Um, boring doll. Why is she not articulated at all? She's on the same body as those ten dollar dolls that don't have um elbow or knee. At least give me knee articulation like why not um i do actually like that body like i don't mind it in certain cases but in this one ugh. and then like that the it's supposed to be a, a play set where you like design the outfits but you literally do it by placing stickers on fabric no it's so bad oh my god and then like the the doll's hair is weirdly short which would be fine but i don't think stella's ever had hair that short like Ever. it's just it's just weird that doll just doesn't cut it and also the stock picture is completely different than the actual doll released i'm just letting you know um this was the closest stock picture i could find and i wanted all of them to have stock pictures believix power aisha is s tier Mwah. masterpiece amazing doll just i don't really have to say much i love the tinsel i love the materials used i wish that she had been green 
or like teal and not this weird like light blue because it doesn't match with the wings so she might actually be pushed to a tier because of that but like this doll is a masterpiece and her hair is so soft and beautiful oh my god love her city style aisha so these ones have wings but i don't count them as fairy dolls because they just kind of slap wings on them that's something that i hate winnie toys does it all the time where they just smack wings on dolls that they shouldn't be on it's just weird um and it doesn't serve me like i don't care um but she's she's cute um sorry besides that i love the outfit the material used is disgusting the hair is amazing the shoes are fantastic city style had the best shoes and the outfit being made out of that nasty material is taking points off for me but other than that this doll is like amazing this this doll rocks it's just that like nasty plasticky material that barbie always uses yuck Aisha's Sirenics, I'm sorry, I hate this one. I That's probably my least favorite fairy doll, I'm, I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, nothing comes together on that doll for me. The colors don't match, her makeup doesn't match anything, the streaks in her hair don't match anything. It's it's a mess. I truly do not like this one. Um, she still is fine, and I like her. I like all of my dolls in some capacity, but compared to the others, ugh. Um, I do think she ranks above Scooter. Like, that, that wasn't fair to put her below Scooter Bloom. Um, in fact, we need to do some switcheroo here. Um, okay. Just move in Stella, because I think, like, oh, I feel bad putting the, <laughs> the, the basic dolls there. But really, I really like that basic Stella. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I actually like the flora better than that Stella, too. So, but again, we're ranking relatively, right? So, like, that, anyway. Aisha Harmonix. I am extremely biased. This was my first Winx Club doll ever in my whole life, and I love her so much. I, but she's also just beautiful. Aisha looks so good in green. That's why I'm so pressed about Believix Power Aisha not being green, or at least... Ugh, I, I made a whole video complaining about that, if you'd like to see it. It's on my channel. Um, Aisha Harmonix has huge wings, which I love. They're so beautiful. The colors are all just right on this doll. She has super long, soft, beautiful hair, but she was my first um, Wing Club doll, and I did not know how to take care of her, so I destroyed that hair. But it's like, if you have seen that doll in person, it's like almost like a red tinge to it, but while still being like a dark brown to black color. It's so beautiful, and her makeup is incredible, and I love the shoes on these dolls too. Everything about the Harmonix dolls is like A+. plus. It's one of the best Jax lines for sure, and that's why Harmonix Aisha goes here. Beach Aisha, this doll's rare. <laughs> she took me an eternity to get, and one of my friends helped me out with getting her from, I believe I got her from the UK. Sorry, I, I got her... And I think City Style Aisha from, like, two different people in Europe, and I, maybe it was the same person. Sorry, it's been, like, three years since- two years since that happened. This one- I'm actually missing her sunglasses, by the way. If anybody has her sunglasses, can you hook me up, please? <laughs> um, that being said, she's fine, but it's just, like, a basic molded-on beach doll. Meh. Um, I do like the beach dolls, but they're just- they don't really, like, give me anything. At least the Summer Dolls have, like, an interesting outfit piece. And I like the screenings, but I th I don't remember if the Summer and the Beach Dolls have different screenings, but for some reason, the, um, the faces and the hairstyles and stuff on the, um, like, City Dress Dolls, they're called, like, City Fashions and Summer Fashions or something? Anyway, the ones with the dresses just left more of an impression on me for whatever reason. Um, next is Enchantix, Pink Enchantix Bloom. This doll's so weird. Like, why does this one exist? I really like her, though. She's just... To me, she's forgettable for some reason. Like, I never really, like, think about her or reach for her. But this is actually a really dope doll. Her design is so cool. Oop. Um... Mm, she's definitely above Believix Power Bloom. For now, she'll be here. Um, I love the materials used on her outfit, too. The design of her outfit is great. Her shoes are super interesting. I love the glitter, like on her and her wings are so cool so cool i love this gothic enchantix like where did this come from i love it i should have asked the i'll do that next time i talk to the mystery um connection i have from the wings club jack specific days i will ask about that doll actually because i'm interested sofix bloom is so pretty oh my god the 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 outfit is like a mess <laughs> and it's not accurate at all um, uh, but it's so pretty. It- the colors are so fun, and I love how, like, almost silvery and ethereal they look. It doesn't look swampy at all like it's supposed to, but I just love this doll. Like, I don't know. Uh, she's probably, like, here. I really like her. I don't know. Like, 
<laughs> it's like the contrast between her hair and her outfit. And she just has the Enchantix Believix Sofix screening. They all share one. Um, and hairstyle. It's the same head. They just popped it on a different doll. She's not articulated. But, like, I just love her. And her shoes are the Enchantix shoes, but in this, like, Ashlyn Ella from Ever After High shoe color. Oh, beautiful. It's But it's, like, almost like a teal. Like, it's slightly green. So pretty. That doll's so pretty. <sighs> Summer, city, fashion, whatever, bloom. I have her, but mine doesn't have a hand, so you need to get me another one. <laughs> or just another body. Sorry, the hands don't come off. She's just been chewed on. I don't know what happened to my girl. Um, forgettable, boring outfit. Is, I, it's weird though, because Stella's outfit is just one color with a ribbon, but it just works for me. Um, Charmix Bloom. So if this doll looked like this stock photo, like, you, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen this stock photo before. Oh my god, I would love this doll so much if she looked like this, but she doesn't. The actual Charmix dolls are so ugly compared to their stock photos. I think Bloom is, like, mid, like, she's whatever, but, like, the fit of her top and skirt is all wrong. The, the, the face is, ugh. And then the, she's not articulated. Does she come with sleeves? I don't, oh, they do, but it's different. They're different sleeves. Sorry, I was like, wait, because these are, like, these look like full fabric sleeves and not netting. Um, anyway not good. Like, she's down here in C. She's, like, one of the worst fairy dolls by Jax, but her wings are amazing, by the way, and she actually has the crown. It's not right, but it's still there, so that counts. City Style Bloom. I love this doll. She's beautiful. Her outfit is beautiful. Her boots are amazing. Um, the stock photo actually has tights on. Like, I never noticed that before until today. I saw the tights in the stock photo, and I was like, wait, and I had to go be like, yeah, she doesn't come with tights. What? Um, also she comes with a cute little necklace and I think like a bracelet. Yeah, she has a bracelet too. Um, and sunglasses and her hair is cool. And the city fashion or the city style dolls actually have unique screenings. They're the season five everyday dolls. Um, I really like her too. Um, no, below Aisha, I think. Yeah. Love her. Um, oh yeah. And the, the wings, the little fake wings are actually smaller on these than in the stock photos. I don't know why they're so gigantic in the stock photos. They're also Stella's Charmix wings, I think. Um, next is Good vs. Evil Enchantix Bloom. I really like the dress. It's beautiful. Points off for using the Believix screening and hair again. The wings are good. The shoes, the shoes are kind of the wrong color, but, well, they are the wrong color and they're the wrong shape too, but I mean, if we're going for at least the color being correct or at least matching with the outfit, it doesn't. But the dress is so well made. It's so pretty and the material they used is so nice. Um, and for that, she gets some points. She's gonna be... Yeah, I feel like I like Sofix better. I don't know. Yeah, that looks about right. Also, I hate those sleeves so much. The Jax dolls have, like, hands like this, kind of. Like, they're, like, splayed fingers a little bit. The pinky slightly up. So those those sleeves, oh my god. When I was little, or, like, not little, but when I was, like, younger and I first started collecting these, I would have to tape their hands shut to slide the sleeves back on, and then they just fall back off anyway. The sleeves are, ugh, hate them. But at the same time, why didn't the Believix dolls come with sleeves? Can we please have sleeves? All right, next is Harmonix Bloom. I really like her too. Um, her hair is phenomenal. It's so soft. The outfit is really cool. I love the colors that they picked. She's really cool. I think she's going to be an A tier for now. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot to say. Musa Sirenix. So I didn't get to talk about my grievances with the Sirenix line as a whole when I was doing Aisha just because Aisha goes in C tier just because of everything else. But my grievance with the Sirenix line as a whole, first of all, the hair color change only works on some of them. Like, for, I guess the hair that they ordered or they used for some of them just doesn't actually work with the temperature activation like it's supposed to. That is beyond me how they managed to miss that, but it's fine, whatever. Um, for the dolls themselves, the colors just don't match on almost any of them. It's weird. And then the wings, I think what they were going for was to make them waterproof in some way, but these wings are disgusting. They're like heavy. They're like, they're like jelly. They're, they don't have any kind of painted detail. Even the like sparkling, well, sparkling white Sirenix bloom cannot go in water, but even the, <laughs> even the Sirenix underwater dolls, which are specifically bath toys have paint on the wings. It's just the Sirenix Jax dolls are actually amazing, but the wings are so horrendous. So it just destroys them for me. And it's weird too, because there's actually glitter like applied onto the leggings. So why couldn't they do it on the wings? I don't know. I just, and the wings are so heavy that the mechanism breaks. Like the mechanism will break. If it hasn't broken for you yet, it will. All of mine broke um, while I was moving. So that's fun. I, did, I, I had them all individually wrapped and like 
put in a certain way where they wouldn't break and they still broke. They horrible, <laughs> horrible wings. Um, but that being said, I love this Musa doll so much. Her face is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think this is my favorite Musa doll face, but I also really love the Believix Power one, of course. We'll see though. We'll see. Bloom Serenix has grown on me a lot. I like her. Um, I used to not like her makeup, but like I get it now. It's cute. Um, she has non-matching colors in her outfit too. Oh yeah. Sorry. Musa's armband is so weird to me. Um, just this doll for me is not the best in the Serenix line. It's not, she's not the worst, but she's like probably here. Maybe here. Yeah. I think that's fair. All right. Um, actually I need to move that. Okay. Next is Beach Bloom. Yeah, you know. Her face is really pretty, though. Um, again, just, like, cheap, forgettable. Didn't really give us some kind of, like, fancy design. I don't even think the swimsuits are, like, canon. They could have given us... I If they are, they're loosely canon. I don't really like these that much. But they are... They have merit in that they are made for, like, younger kids who are, like, being introduced to fashion dolls or they're just made to be, like, a cheap, quick thing. Like, I totally get it. But as a collector and against the others, not the best. Um, Sparkling Light Sirenix Bloom. What an awful doll. Oh my god. I have her and she's, like, fine. Her wings don't stay on at all. Her headpiece doesn't stay on at all. This doll is one of the ones that you need to leave in the package. That's actually the main reason. If you look, I have... I only have one... Um, what is that doll called? Magic Wings Bloom? I only have one and she's still in the box. Just because, like, I had such a traumatic experience with my Sparkling Light Sirenix Bloom that I'm like, I'm not going to open my Magic Wings Bloom. Um, I have had one out of the box before, but without the wings and the stage and stuff, I've just had the doll. So I will be able to rank her just fine, but I don't know. Sparkling Light Sirenix Bloom is, like, cute, I guess. Her hair is way too short. It's not styled correctly for Sirenix. And it would actually make sense for it to be in the high ponytail because then, like, the... The wings wouldn't fall off as easily. I don't know. Mess. Face is gorgeous. The face is gorgeous. So that puts her here, I think. Alrighty. Oh, is she worse than that Charmix doll? Yeah. Leggy, you're snoring, princess. Come here. Hi. <laughs> oh, okay. Next up, we have Believix Power Flora. Oh my god, this doll's beautiful. She has a unique face. I wish more dolls had used this face because it's so pretty. Um, her outfit is super cool. I think the skirt could have been done better, but it is cute. It's, like, slightly too, like, weird and long on the second layer, and it, like, removes that, like, cute petal aesthetic it has going. Wings are awesome. All the colors, like, work together. This doll goes in the S tier. Because of the color mismatch between Aisha's outfit and wings, I'm gonna put Flora above her. Um, next up we have Charmix Flora. So, sorry, Leggy's climbing. Um, Charmix Flora is the worst Jack specific doll out of all of them. Um, this stock photo is gorgeous, but it's using the Believix head. It's on an articulated body. The outfit is completely different. The fit of this outfit is horrendous. The colors and material they use for this outfit, horrendous. The wings are fine. Um, the face is literally ugly. Like, she's actually just ugly. Like, I'm sorry. I can't say anything nice about this doll, except that the wings are nice. Even the shoes. Like, the, the shoes they used for Bloom and Flora are so ugly. Why did they do that? Ugh. Hate her. That's, like, my least favorite. Well, well, other than Sky. <laughs> um, I don't really have to explain, do I? He just did not turn out good. I do not like this doll. Um, the outfit's, like, okay, I guess. I don't really like it. The sword is bizarre. It's, like, borderline inappropriate. Um, uh, yeah, his haircut's not right. His face is weird. I don't know. Just not, not into this. Not into this doll. Also, the cape is not hemmed, and it, it's not long enough. Just, I don't, ugh. I'm pretty sure their swords are, like, energy swords, too, so I'm not even sure why he comes with that. I don't know. I just wish we had gotten a two-pack of, like, two of the winks in Sofix instead of this situation, but whatever. City Style Flora. She was actually one of the last Jax dolls that I needed to complete my collection to, but I got her like three or four years ago, but like that's how long it's taken me to get some of these dolls. Um, she's like fine. She's very like mid-tier, I feel. Um, yeah, she's just like mid-tier. I don't really like think about her much. Her face is super pretty though. Very pretty face. Um, cool outfit, too. I like the outfit. It's just like, eh. It's so like, oh yeah, City Style Flora. She's cool, I guess, you know. Super soft hair on this one, too. 
Everyday Flora was the last Wings Club doll I needed to complete my collection. Somehow the super common doll that everybody has, I needed her to complete my collection and she evaded me for so long. And I have her. <laughs> so that's how I completed my collection. I believe I did it in January. Um, I wish I knew the date. I used to always remember like the date that I did something that I thought was notable, but like I don't anymore. I just search for it when I need it. <laughs> Um, I actually really love this one. I think she's my favorite of the everyday doll line. Um, her outfit's actually good quality compared to the others. I love all the little, like, accessories she has. Like, I'm pretty sure she has a bracelet. The hair is cute. It's styled well. The face is really pretty. I love the little socks. And her shoes are so cute. I know they're simple, but they're really cute. Um, and for that, she is my favorite. But I really like Ayusha's leg warmers. But, yeah, so she's gonna go here. My favorite of the everyday collection. Flora Enchantix. I know this is a reused Believix Flora doll, but like, yes. Yes, I love this doll. Her outfit is so cool. I know it's not like... The Enchantix Flora design is hard to make in doll form, and I love seeing the way different companies execute it. This is not the best execution, but I just love this dress. Like, I want this dress. I want to wear it to prom again. I, I want to go to prom to wear this. Um, and I, her wings are cool. Um, Flora actually has one of my least favorite Enchantix wing designs, but I really like them on the doll. And the, the shoes are cute. I just like her. Um, Harmonix Flora, so she's really cool, and she actually has probably the best face in Harmonix, but she's, like, kind of forgettable to me, because the other Harmonix dolls are so much better. And her hair, um, her hair is super soft and long. I really like it. And I love the pastel pink and green outfit. So, um... Probably here. Um, I know she's not... I, sh I feel like by merit she deserves to be higher, but I don't know. I just don't really gravitate towards her much. It's, it might have something to do with Flora not being my favorite of the Winx girls. Like, she's she's at the bottom for me, but she just doesn't really cut it for me among the other ones. Love her wings, too. Um, oh, go back where you belong. Okay, next is Flora Sirenix. No. None of the colors match. It's a mess. And, like, the colors can match. And if you... If you if the show design's colors don't match when you do them in doll form, that's fine. You can tweak them. I don't know why they didn't, because they tweaked most things. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, and her, But she has super nice hair and a super nice face, too. It's just, like, not into it. She's actually below Bleavix Flora for me. Um, next up we have... Look, I, I think I said Flora Bleavix was my least favorite fairy doll, and look what we've done here. We have dismantled that argument. Okay, um, Beach Flora. I know I put all the other beach girls down here, but I'm actually gonna put her up here because I actually really like this one. She's just really pretty. I don't know. I think I got her at, like, a thrift store. Like, I got really lucky with her. Um, and Summer Flora, I really like. Um, I feel weird putting her above Saturday Flora, but I really like this doll. Face is beautiful. The hair length is weird, but it's really cute, and I think it looks really good on Flora. Like, can you imagine Flora in the show with, like, shoulder-length hair? It would be so pretty. It would be everything. Magic Wings Bloom. So I've had her out of package without the wings, but the wings, I can, I know what they are. And again, I have that doll. I just never opened her. Um, like, the outfit's just wrong. And when you're going to mold on the outfit and paint it, like, how did you get it wrong? But she does have her little bracelets. So that's kind of cool. The little gloves. Um, I never know what to call them. They're like glove sleeves. Um, she's like, she's fine. She's just like, why does she exist? Um... It's funny, too, because, like, this is supposed to be a transforming doll, but, like, all it does is, like, reveal wings. Whoa! She transformed! Like, I don't know. Meh. Um, concept is kind of cute, I guess, but more as, like, a decoration than a doll. Um, I do think she's better than Scooter Gulia. No, Scooter Gulia. Sorry. Um, I don't think she's better than Scooter Bloom. Anyways. Um, I she can go here. It's okay. Um, uh, this is gonna be controversial, but I actually really don't like the Good vs. Evil Icy doll. Her hair is horrendous quality, but hair quality... If we were comparing by hair quality, this list would just be newest releases at the top and oldest releases at the bottom, so I'm trying not to do that. Hair quality's weird. I don't like the... This thing, if you don't leave it exactly as they put it in the factory, you will not put it back on ever again. Ask me how I know that. Um, her face just isn't really doing it for me, and the outfit's fine. The cape is such a bad idea. They did a horrible job on the cape. Like, what? it's not even correct. And the, the length is bad on the cape, too. The bodysuit is actually okay. Like, I would have adjusted the color a little bit. I just, I don't know. There's something about this doll that doesn't, like, click for me. And for that, um, she's going here. I do really... The tricks do get a redemption arc, though. 
Um, I assume that these dolls were better in prototyping for the the tricks. Sorry, the um, the good versus evil, but I don't know. I've never seen them. Blue Believix Bloom is another, like, gothic bloom, like a gothic Believix, which I really like, because, like, they just replaced the pink with black. I think that's super interesting. So she, like, she's, she's the San Diego Comic-Con 2012, um, more common one, and it's not because she's the, the most common, it's just something about the doll doesn't feel as, like, special as the gold and silver ones, and it's probably just because she's just blue and not gold or silver, but she's really cool. Like, I really like her color scheme and stuff, but I feel like she's a little bit forgettable, same as Pink Enchantix Bloom, and I think Pink Enchantix Bloom is more fun and, like, better executed, I guess. I do really like Blue Bloom, don't get me wrong. Um, she's right there. She looks beautiful. It's just, I think, like, the doing blue and black... Oh, I just noticed the blue and the pink are switched in some spots, too, for Believix. Um, sorry, I wasn't really thinking about it. I don't know what they could have done, because, I don't know, there's something about the exact color of blue and black that they picked, and the red, and it just doesn't, like, it doesn't, like, flow as nicely as the pink and black in Pink Enchantix, so, I don't know. I love her makeup, though. Her makeup is fantastic, and I love that she has the yellow streaks like she's supposed to. Really wish they could have given us that in Believix, but it's probably a budget thing, I get it. Um, you guys already know Silver Bloom is my all-time favorite Wings Club doll. Um, I, I don't know how to tell you like, why? I've destroyed my poor- my original one. <laughs> well, she's actually not my original one. The one that I have out of box was my second one that I bought out of box. I've destroyed that poor thing. I'm pretty sure I lost her other shoe while I was in New York City, so that's fun. She's been missing her other shoes since- I actually cosplayed as her. Since the convention where I cosplayed as her, I lost one of her shoes. <laughs> and then I- I am an adult. And I think I lost the other one in New York City, so- Gotta look through all my luggage to see, but that's awkward. Um, but that's just, like, a testament to how much I love this doll. And it has not faltered for me. I have a strong, like, emotional... It well, it's weird, though, because I just, like, bought this doll on a whim. Like, it's not like I have some crazy emotional story for her like I do for a lot of the others. It's just, like, I bought her because she was a good price and I wanted her. And I didn't even think I was gonna really like her that much, but I fell in love with her. Like, I love this doll. Um, love her. I just love, uh silver. <laughs> and with that, we have Gold Bloom. This one actually is my most special doll in my entire collection in terms of sentimental value. My mom surprised me with her for... I, it wasn't really for a holiday. She just, like, showed up at my house and was like, hey, I got you something, and it was this doll. Um, and it was actually... I was going to buy this doll on eBay, and the day I was gonna buy her, she she got sold, like, instantly, and I was so devastated, and it's because my mom bought her. It was the exact same doll, but I was gutted because I actually had the money and was going to buy her that day, but then she turned up at my house a couple weeks later. My mom turned up at my house with the gold doll, or the gold doll, the gold Believix Bloom doll, and she just, like, handed her to me. She was like, hey, I have something for you, and she just handed her to me, and I was like, what? <laughs> um, crazy. I do think gold looks way better on Bloom. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! Um, when I made my favorites list, I kind of, I cheated and I made gold and silver as both being my number one, which was kind of a dirty tactic, but I actually think that gold is better. And it's not for the, like, sentimental reason. Um, it's just because I think gold and red just look better together. It fits Bloom's design better and she just looks really good. Um, I can't carry that doll all over the world with me. I took my Silver Bloom to Belize. I took <laughs> I took her to New York City. Like, everywhere I go, that Silver doll comes with me, and I love her so much. But, like, I do think the Gold Bloom is the superior execution, which makes sense. She's the rare one. Not- she's literally rare. There's, like, very few of those dolls in the world. Um, and my mom got me one <laughs> after so many years of wanting her. Okay, anyway. Um, Blue Harmonix Bloom, I don't have out of box, but I've seen her out of box. I've seen reviews of her. I do want one out of box. I just never- I have one in box, and I just- I'd rather buy one out of box or buy another one in box and unbox that one, just because I'd like to have her in box as well. Um, just because, like, my San Diego dolls, I have one of each in box except Gold Bloom, so I'd like to keep it that way. Well, I'd like to get a Gold Bloom if I can, but... Um, anyway... This doll's just extremely lackluster for a limited edition doll. Doll's gorgeous. Wings are gorgeous. The outfit is a, like, actual train wreck. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, so really it's just the outfit that's holding this doll back. And for that, I think she's definitely better than Sirenix Bloom. So we're gonna put her here. I don't know. It's just, like, does anybody, like, remember her? <laughs> 
I don't know. If she's your favorite one, like, I get it. She is really, really beautiful. But I just think the outfit's really boring, especially with the source material. Harmonics is so cool, and you gave us that. All right, um, Love and Pet Bloom. So she was Canadian Toys R Us exclusive. Um, so she's the only, like, oddball here. Um, I don't have this set. I really would like it because it comes with the pets, and I think that's cool. I actually got the doll from, like, a factory reject pile that was on Taobao a while ago. It's not there anymore. Sometimes she does turn up still, though, because I think maybe they were going to have her exclusive to Toys R Us in the States, too, but the order got canceled, so there's just a ton of them sitting in warehouses in China right now. Or not right now, but, like, back then. There probably still are quite a few, though. Um, so I do have her. I like her a lot. Her jacket and shirt are, like, horribly executed, but the rest is really good. Um, and I like her, like, little clover headpiece, and the pets are fun, but I'm not ranking based on them. Um, so for Bloom... Love and Pet. I feel like I... Oh, she's definitely better than Charmix Bloom. Um, we're going to be adjusting this B tier. It's getting way too big. Probably there. Um, and then we're going to be moving these two into C tier. It's just getting really, like, inflated here. Mm, we'll work on it. Hold on. There's literally 70-something dolls on this list, so hold on. All right. Um, <sighs> this Daphne is so ugly. I'm sorry. What were they thinking? This doll is hideous. The face is bad. I love the wings. Um, I like that she's supposed to be the nymph form, but then why does she have eyes? And, like, the, the dress is beautiful, but it's completely the wrong color. Just, what is going on with this doll? I don't get it. I don't- I don't know what happened here. I hope- I would like to, if someday there are pictures revealed, see, like, what the actual sketches of this doll were, because this is a wreck. Maybe they were just last minute, like, oh wait, maybe we should make Comic-Con exclusives this year and just slapped out these two really fast. I have no idea. Not good. Not good. Also, like, what are- are these wings, like, relevant? Like, where are they from? It almost looks like a Harmonix Daphne, which would have been a really cool, like, concept for a doll, because she must have had a Harmonix at some point, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. She's, like, this is so mean, I'm sorry. And I don't have her out of box, but I've seen enough, you know? <laughs> like, this is one of those ones where it's like, I've seen enough. It's okay. I'd like to get one out of box someday, but, like, I'm really not, like, gonna go out of my way. I'm not gonna pay what she goes for. It, like, I'm good. I don't know. Again, if you really like this doll, that's not, like, anything against you. It's just for me, personally, that doll is a disaster. Oh my god, and there are fantastic Daphne dolls by Jackie Preciosi and Mattel. Um, and there's even, like, a kind of, like, a, there's, like, an exclusive Daphne that's sort of similar to this one that Witty made that is better. Um, mostly because the outfit is gold. Like, why is her outfit orange here? I do like the orange outfit. It kind of reminds me of, like, the Mothra twins from Godzilla. That's what I would use this dress for. I don't know. Mess. Believix Power, Musa, definitely S tier. I'm really gatekeeping the S tier right now. Like, look how small it is. Um, oh. Yeah, here. Phenomenal doll. Like, if we're going based on which one's the best, not which one I like the best, um, Musa. Like, amazing, amazing. I think she's the best Believix Power doll. I really like Stella, too. I have Stella in box now, guys. Where'd I put her? She's right there. You can see her from here. Um, yeah. Is Stella on the- yeah, here's Stella. So, I think she's gonna go here. I really like her. I don't know what to tell you. She is sentimental to me, but, um, not particularly compared to a lot of Jack Stall- well, she is pretty high up there, but I just really like her. Her- she's so unique, like, her lip color is really interesting, and it looks really good with the rest of the outfit, and, like, the pastel yellow they picked is so out there for Stella, but it really works, and it's so- in I don't know, I just think this doll's super interesting, and I'm glad they didn't go with orange. I'm glad they went with yellow. I think it's just cool. I think she looks great. And the wings are so cool. I do prefer the wings over Musa's. Musa's wings are really boring here. Um, they didn't do anything special for Believix Power for Musa with her wings. Same with Aisha. They're just, they're just as they should be, except in one color. But the Musa doll makes up for it by having, her hair has the little cute uh, mini buns. She has like super long soft hair with amazing tinsel in it. Her outfit is so beautiful. The color they picked is great. I love the little tights. She has the tights, right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm... The only one that doesn't have the tights is Aisha, which is, again, why Aisha's down here. Um, I actually... Ugh, I don't want to move anybody out of S tier, but I think what I'm going to do, actually... Um, 
I don't know. Aisha kind of doesn't fit into Bleavik's power. Um, look, we almost have, like, one of each girl up here. Don't worry, Techna's gonna make it. Well, I do have a Techna doll that's going up there. Um, okay, next is Concert Everyday Musa. This is Everyday Musa. Oh my gosh, I forgot the concert collection, didn't I? Ooh, we're gonna cut this video in a minute, in a minute. I'm so sorry. Um, Everyday Musa is horrendous. What a terrible... Oh, but, yeah, she's... Can she be worse than that one, though? Yeah, oh my god. So this doll's really pretty, actually. I love the face, and the dress is fine, but the... I am not exaggerating. The pants are made out of gauze, like medical gauze. I don't know what that material is. Have you ever, like, been to the hospital and worn a hospital gown? Yeah, that's- I'm not kidding. Her pants are made out of that material. Why? It's gross. It's like, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. And that is the only reason why she's in D tier. She would be higher if her pants- even if she didn't have the pants, she would be higher up. What were they thinking? Oh my god. I get that that was cheap, but you, you like, flew too close to the sun there. Ugh. Okay. Um, I can't believe I forgot concert. How did I do that? I kept looking back at my collection, like, I swear there's more than 72 dolls. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, we'll fix it. <laughs> okay, um, here's Everyday Techna. Her face is not good. Um, the prototype is gorgeous, but the, the face on the actual doll is not good. She has earrings, which is interesting. Um... Her outfit is really cool, but that's just the merit of the design. The shoes are cool, too. Um, she's just, like, her face is not good. Not good. So she's here. Alright, um, Darcy... We're gonna wait for the Sirenix... The Dark Sirenix dolls, I think. Okay, so actually, if you've seen this picture before of, um, Concert Stage Bloom, the prototype used in this specific stock image is so fugly. I don't know what happened. She's, like, actually really ugly. <laughs> um, but the doll is actually pretty, and I like her hairstyle. It's unique. This is, like, the season five concert outfit. Um, at least I'm pretty sure, right? It's, like, the season five one? I don't know. Anyway, I actually really like this one. Um, her outfit is fun. Her outfit, like, screams Disney Channel. Like, 2000 like, 2010's Disney Channel outfit, like, I don't know. Um, like, some- the Victorious characters would eat this outfit up. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, it- but she's cute. She's cute. She's just, like, eh, in this playset sucks, by the way. <laughs> it's such a bad playset. The stands on the playset don't even work. Um, not good. Um, is she better or worse than that Daphne doll? I think she's better. Um, okay. Next, Sirenix Underwater. I wasn't gonna get these dolls originally, but my dad, like, surprised me and got them for me. They are so cool. Um, their hair is super soft and gorgeous. The color change features are very hit and miss. They kind of don't work, but if we're just looking at the merit of the doll themselves, they're fantastic. And, like, their wings are painted. And they have unique face, um, paint. So, like, Musa actually is going to be an A tier. I love this doll. Um, probably here. I love that doll. Um, Stella also is gonna be an A tier. I really like that she has green hair. It's really fun, especially because, uh, well, obviously they're based off of when the Sirenix girls are underwater. I don't know why, like, Witty did not do dolls of this, because Sirenix takes place, you know, underwater. That's the point. And they have really cool hair colors underwater. Why would you not make dolls of this? You could have even utilized, like, wigs or something. I don't know. It would have been so fun and cool. Um, so I'm really glad Jax did this, even though we only got three characters. A fourth character, Flora, was prototyped for a playset, but because she was a playset doll, she didn't release because they didn't make the playset, which is so sad. Um, because that doll's so cool. Bloom, I love her color scheme. Um, I, th I think, um, Stella- Stella's hair is my favorite, but her color scheme's kind of weird. But that's not the doll's fault. That's Wink's club- that's Rainbow's fault. Bloom's color scheme is my favorite, but Musa overall is my favorite. And, like, oh my god, their their headbands and stuff are unique molds, other than Bloom's. Like, um, I'm pretty sure Musa's has, like, a little snail shell on it with seaweed. It's so cute. Love them. Um, okay, so Stella Charmix actually doesn't, like, I don't hate this doll. She's actually really pretty. The prototype's way better, obviously, because... And that the prototype actually has a unique face, so I really wish that had come out, because it's so pretty. Um, but the doll's actually not bad. Her face is pretty. Her hair is not in pigtails for some reason. And everyone's like, just put it in pigtails. You don't understand. So I, I have not put mine in pigtails, but I actually really like her. Hers is the closest to the prototype. Like, she kept her outfit the same. She kept the shoes. She kept the, the size of the wings. She kept, well, she didn't keep the hair or the face, but she, she's like, not bad. 
Her bracers are so weird, though. Um, um, I'm sorry, I really don't like um, Believe Excel. <laughs> um, that, that doll just did not come together. I actually love Believe Excel's design in the show, but like that doll did not come together, so I'm actually going to swap them. Just thinking on it a little more, and I'm going to put Charming Stella here. Um, next, you see how the B and C tiers are getting like really bloated? Um, next is City Style Stella. Love her. Did I really put Aisha and B? We're gonna fix that. Um, but I don't like her as much as I like Bloom. Is she better than... I don't think she's worse than this doll, so I'm gonna leave her where she is. I do think, um, Sironix Bloom is better. And Techna's better. Oh no. Okay, I think that's fair. <laughs> okay, next is Enchantic Stella, good versus evil. This is the... Hmm... I was gonna say she's the best good versus evil doll, but I just remembered that I altered mine. They originally- so if you can see your outfit there, it's like a crop top, but in the show it's supposed to be more of a bra, so I put a rubber band around it to make it a bra, and it's really nice. But in the actual doll here, the skirt is weirdly long, and the outfit is a weird crop top instead of a bra. It's like a sports bra almost. Ugh. Um, but if you alter it, it looks great. Um, but for that, she is my favorite in my collection, but that's because I fixed her. But in terms of this one, she has to go below Bloom. Where did I put Bloom? Oh, there. Yeah, that's fair. All right, next is Harmonix Stella. Um, she's like marginally better than Flora, I think. Um, Flora has the superior face, but I, I just really like Stella in yellow, I guess. She looks so cute. Um, next is Stella Sirenix. You know, I forgot this doll existed, I'm not gonna lie. She is standing right behind me, but, like, I never think about this doll. I actually, compared to the other Sirenix dolls, her color, like, matching is really nice. It's just, Sirenix by Jax is so good, except the wings, and everyone would put the witty doll wings on them, but those are too small. Like, I don't like small wings, I like big wings. So, um, amongst the Sirenix dolls, she's really good, but, um... Um... Honestly, I think I do like her better than Sirenix Underwater Stella. Sorry, I see a couple of things that I'm like, hmm, I need to adjust this. All right, um, that is Beach, or like Summer Stella. Um, her face is actually really cute, um, so she's probably gonna go there. Um, where did I put Flora? Yeah, she's there. That makes sense. Okay. Believix Power Tecna is S tier. She is Believix Power, so she's gonna be up here. Um, and I really like her. I love the long hair. She's the only long haired Tecna we got from Jax, and I really like it. I love the way they did her bangs. Her colors are super cool. She should be green. Her or Aisha should have been green, but they both are just not inexplicably, which is annoying. Um, and I love the way they altered her outfit from Believix. Actually, because of that, I think I'm gonna put her above Flora because her outfit is super interesting. They like altered it, but I love the way they did it. All right, and next is Techna Sirenix. Um, and after we finish her, I'm gonna leave and then add the other pictures to the tier list because I need to do that in the concert dolls and then I'll come back. Um, okay, I promise I'll be back. Um, Sirenix Techna is so cute. So cute. Um, is she better than Musa? I think she's better than Musa at least to me. It's just, her face is so unique and beautiful. She has these, like, really big, cute eyes. Um, so cute. And I love her hair, too. It's so soft. I don't know why I decided to say that Believix Power Techno was the longest, the only long hair techno we got, because Sirenix Techno's right there. I don't know. Sorry, guys. It's, it's late. Anyway, I will be right back. <laughs> All right, friends, by the time you get a hold of the list, the, um, the concert dolls will be on it, so yay! Look, they're there! Um, sorry, I just completely forgot to put them on the list for some reason. Um, <laughs> they are quite forgettable. So these dolls are actually, like, the outfits are mostly horrendous in terms of, like, the materials used. So I feel bad putting them on the list just to lambast them real fast, but I- I gotta say, for positives, they all have, like, jewelry, which is fun. Like, Tecna has a little, like, Barrette, and so does Stella, so that's fun. Tecna's among the best, in my opinion. Her outfit's still bad quality, but, like, she does a good job. She's a really cute doll. Um, if you put her on art if you put her on an articulated body, she gets even better. She has cute earrings. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, she doesn't have earrings. It's, um, every day that has the earrings. So I think she'll go below the everyday one. I just think the everyday one's cuter. I do really like the barrette, though. 
I can't believe I still have not lost that thing, by the way. I still have it. Um, Musa is amazing. This doll is really cool. She's, like, really pretty. For some reason, like, I like her outfit a lot, too. I, I prefer that Witty used, like, a red color for her outfit, but can really go either way. It's very cute. Um, and her face is so pretty. So I'm gonna put her here for that reason. Can you believe that? Stella's outfit is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. The, the tights are actually not bad, but, like, the jacket... Oh, the, the crop top's fine, too. The jacket and the skirt are made out of what I call garbage bag material. I don't think I need to reiterate. If you've ever seen, like, felt this doll before, you know what I'm talking about. The jacket is so bad. It, it's not even hemmed. Like, horrible. Horrible. She's actually really cute, though. Like, her face is cute, but, like, ugh. So, for that, I think she goes above Scooter Bloom. <laughs> All right. Next is Aisha Concert. <sighs> I, I got her kind of early in my collection, actually. She's just, like, kind of forgettable. I don't know. Um, if these had come with their instruments, this would be a different story. But, like, why do these even exist without their instruments, you know? Um, at least, like, the microphone. And then the minifigures look way better than this and actually come with the instruments. So, like, I don't know. Anyway, um, it's just, like, yawn. Eh, her face is really cute, though. Um, Flora actually also has a really cute face, but her jacket is the same as... Stella's, but I actually really like the, um, the material they used on the skirt. The boots are amazing. Um, same crop top jacket situation as Stella, but I think the rest of the outfit is better. Um, oh yeah, um, Stella has that thing where the, the, the leggings don't tuck in the boots correctly, which makes me want to claw my eyes out. All right, and then Bloom concert. No, I love Bloom's concert outfit, but they really messed it up here. Oh my god, ugh. Um, bad vibe. All right, next is Bluemix. These pictures are, the stock pictures for Bluemix are just bad. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, I I keep looking at the other monitor because that's where my like viewfinder is, sorry. Um, all right, Bluemix. And then we'll go to the Dark Cyrenics. I just want to have the full list for it before I start putting the Dark Cyrenics in because I need to really think about it. So for Bluemix, Aisha's for sure up here. Is she higher? Yeah, I think she's higher. Um here. Her pigtails are so cute, <laughs> and her outfit's so cute, and her wings are so cool. That doll's great. Um, ah, oh, dang, is all of Bloomix gonna go there? I think so. We're finally gonna flesh out that S tier, ladies and gentlemen, um, and non-binary pals. Um, all right. Musa, like, Bloomix, just the design, gives me Music Fairy, which absolutely no other, like, music transformation gives me, except I guess Bloomix, kind of. Um, she, she, like, is wearing, like, a con concert-type outfit, like, for, like, a, like, a piano recital. That's kind of what she reminds me of. Or, like, someone doing, like, an, a choir or something. I don't know why it tells me that, but it does. But I, I just don't like the pink, Musa X pink situation that's been happening recently. Um, she is really cute, though, but the outfit's just kind of weird. Um, all right, next is Flora. She's so cute. Her hair is so soft and beautiful, um, and her face is amazing, but the outfit's just not my favorite. I would prefer the Harmonix outfit in terms of the colors they picked. I don't know, um, but she's really cute, though. Um, Bloom is really good. Oh, it's really hard. Bloomix Techna is the only Techna in the entire series that looks like a like a technology fairy. It's weird that it took them this long because she has like the motherboard wing or motherboard leggings and like the the square design wings. They're really cool. Um, and season one, I guess, kind of because she looks like she looks like futuristic. Um, but this doll, her face is kind of boring, and the hair. I hate the helmet head Techna hairstyle. They like. They know Tecna would destroy every other character if they would actually root her hair in correctly, a la Jackie Preciosi, so they and um, a la Mattel, so they decided to give her this hideous helmet. I'm joking, but it's so bad. Um, so because of Helmet Head, I have to put her below Believix Power Aisha. And you need to see a Believix Power Aisha doll in person, because this stock photo, she's... I don't know, I feel like the, the angle's weird. And the hair is, like, lopsided for some reason. Um, like, go support your local Believix Power Aisha today and you will fall in love with her. 
All right, next is Stella. This is one of the only dolls in the entire world whose bangs are done correctly. Um, Jack Specific did it. Thank you. Um, and for that, I have to give her credit and put her up here. Oh, Musa Sirenix also has her bangs done correctly. Um, but yeah, I love it. Love it. Um, and then Bloom, I was wait, I was kind of skipping Bloom because I don't know how I feel about her. I think she's better than Musa, but she's probably here. It's just that, and the transformation's called Bloomix. Um, but hers is very boring. <laughs> I don't know. I love her wings, though. Mm, yeah, her wings and face are really cool, so I think I can put her above Flora, and I love her dress. It's so pretty. All right, Dark Sirenix. I really like the Dark Sirenix dolls. Their wings are stupid. I actually own the prototypes that have the tentacle wings. They're behind me. Ah, I'll do, like, an actual video review of those, because I feel like the video that I showed them in is not very good. Um... So stay tuned for that, because I, I feel like they just deserve to have, like, more pretty pictures and stuff out there. Um, but I have to rank the official releases, but regardless of the weird butterfly wing tentacles, and if you'd like to know why they are like this, by the way, I have an interview with one of the people who worked on the dolls, specifically these dolls, um, on my channel, so I can tell you why that happened. <laughs> um, Stormy, in my opinion, is the best one. They switched Icy kind of last second um, to have a different face, and it's just kind of too sweet. It's very cute, though. And Icy's actually my favorite of the tricks by a lot. Um, and Stormy's actually my least favorite of the tricks, but this doll is so well done. Her hair is so cool. Her hair... Like, the the lightning bolts, how do they do that? They, like, did this, like, really, really harsh crimping. It's so beautiful. And, like, the curly hair is amazing. And, um, the outfit color isn't my favorite, but it is accurate to Stormy. Um, she's just great. And you can really tell she... If her name wasn't Stormy, but, like, you just saw this doll, you probably would be able to guess what her power is. And I love that sort of thing because Wings Club really doesn't care about, um, the designs making any kind of sense towards their elemental power. So, um, anyway, that's just kind of an aside. Jack Specific didn't decide that. That was, um, like, Rainbow that finally decided to give her a design that makes sense. Well, Stormy always kind of has the little lightning bolt hair, which is so cute. I love Stormy. Uh, sorry, I was just saying she's my least favorite. Well, I love her design. She's my least favorite in terms of her character, but that's because she doesn't really get flushed out very much. Um... Mm, sorry, I have to really take it slow here. Probably there. Um, she's my favorite of them. So, for Darcy... I, I miss when Darcy had those cute little glasses. She was so cute. Um, this doll is very forgettable compared to the other two. For some reason, they all have the same outfit. They're just different colors, so I guess it's her face. I don't know. Her face is very pretty too, though. I don't know. And in the prototypes, I kind of feel different. Like, honestly, I don't know... I do really like her, but um, she's not my favorite of them, so I think... She's definitely better than them. Again, this is a tier list and I'm trying to be objective here, but a lot of this is opinion based. Um, like, I just happen to like these dolls better, so it's like, um, it's a little difficult. I'm trying my best to keep like, I just prefer this out of the equation, but I am a human and I'm doing it my tier list, so it kind of has to be that way. Um, all right, and then Icy, again, they switched her last second, which I don't like, uh, but she is really cool still. It's just that when I, Stormy was the only one I had when I was, like, collecting originally, and then I got Icy... She was gifted to me, actually. No, Darcy was gifted to me. Icy, I just kind of bought, I think. Yeah, I bought her. I was really anticipating her. I was really excited about her. I really liked her, and then she came, and I just never really thought about her again, and I hate to say that, but she, she just ended up being kind of forgettable. I don't know. And I, again, I own the prototypes. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to say, like, Imagine if they had come out like that. They're so much better. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I should brag, right? Because I spent a lot of money on those. Um, anyway. Um, they're just all so similar that I kind of have to, like... Honestly, I'm, I'm being mean to Darcy here. Probably here. I like those harmonic dolls better. All right. Let me look over this real quick. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, Sparkling Light Sirenix Bloom is way too high. There we go. And then um, C tier could really use some some uh, thinning. I think Stella has good enough face that she gets to stay in C tier. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. Why did I put Sirenix, or the Sparkling Light Sirenix Bloom so high? Why did I do that? That was weird. Okay. And with that, we have my, the definitive Jack Pacific Winx Club doll tier list. I love these dolls again, and I have very strong opinions of them just because I've had them for so long. Um, the ones that I didn't have, like, stronger, stronger opinions of are just because, like, for some reason I didn't connect with them as much, but honestly, that, that kind of tells you all you need to know. Um, when you're, like, looking at a tier list. I actually think I need to move these. All right. Um, yeah, but, like, I'm just thinking of, like, what A tier means, and I think the delineating point... I think that's a good point, actually, for that. I think I need to put Flora a little higher. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it now for real. All right, so this is my Wings Club tier list. Oh, let me, um... Oh, I'm gonna actually make my little um, camera a little smaller so y'all can actually see the list. There we go. Okay, so this is my Wings Club tier list. This, um, again, these are like my opinions, but I'm also trying to be a little bit more objective and go by like the quality and stuff. But overall, like if I prefer a face over another one, that's just me. And I can't really explain that objectively on a lot of them. Um, but it's just like, how innovative was the doll? How interesting was she? Um, how much do I like her? Stuff like that. So I actually think I need to move Tecna. Okay, for real, I'm, I'm gonna stop touching it now. After this. After that. Okay, now I'm gonna stop touching it. For real, this time I'll stop. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just thinking about like that. No, I like that Musa. Okay, now I'm gonna stop touching it. All right, <laughs> this is the tier list. Um, yeah, if you guys disagree with me, I'd love to hear why and where you disagree with me. Um, when I say the definitive list, I'm, I'm joking. When I say, like, my opinion is correct, um, obviously I'm joking. Um, I love the Jack Pacific Winx Club dolls. They mean a lot to me. They're very sentimental to me. They, I have a long history with them. They're the reason I started collect- well, them and Monster High are the reason that I collect dolls, and to this day especially, and I'm really proud to have a complete collection. I love them a lot, and they, they just mean a lot to me, you know? Like, some, some doll lines just hit a certain way. Like, maybe a certain doll line will be my favorite, just I think they're the best, but no, no doll line will ever compare to the Jack Pacific Wings Club dolls with how much I covet them and treasure them. I don't know what it is. I just adore them, and I'm so, like, grateful that they exist and for all of the different experiences that I've had related to them. Unfortunately, I was a little bit young when they were coming out, but, so I didn't really get to, like, participate in much, but, um, I've, I've met so many cool people and had so many cool experiences. My YouTube channel came from these and I love them so much. So I'm happy that I got to make this little tier list video and share that with you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go because this I cannot imagine how long this video is gonna be. I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know, I would like to do more Wings tier list. I think what I'm gonna do is Witty Toys Fairy Dolls because I have all but like three of those, I think. Do I have all of them now? I'm missing two, I think. I'm missing Mythics Aisha and Mythics Musa. Hit me up if you have them <laughs> for sale for a decent price. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I'm missing, right? Oh, and a couple of Enchantics, maybe some Charming. We'll see. Um, but I can make that list if you'd like me to. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching for all this time. Bye. Oh, and I could do Mattel. I'd like to do Mattel, but I don't have them all. But I have seen pictures of all of them, so I could do it. It would be kind of hard to make the list, though, because I don't... Um, there's not a lot of, like, good guides for them. Like, even the, the Winx Wiki did not have all of the Jack's dolls listed. Like, they were missing quite a few. All right, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!